Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Got to the back with another excited video today. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this beautiful looking landscape inside the World Creator 2.4. So first of all, you need to download it. You can download it from uh, World Creator. You can buy it or you can download it free for educational purpose only from nullpk.com. Just scroll down, click on download button and skip the ad so let me show you how you can create this kind of beautiful landscape so this is really awesome so let me show you what we gonna create so this is some kind of as you can see here you can add a grass trees and many things so you can create a lake here so as you can see I create here one so it's really easy and simple so let's begin so first we create a new project so just click on no we don't want so here you get default what we say default trine so first of all we change the size of our trine so we just change it from trine size from 2048 to 4096 here we go so now we want to give it custom shape so for that we just go on custom base shape properties just check this box and click on edit shape so first we need to create a mountain for that we go in action and select the move up down tool uh, from that tab and now we select the point where you wanna create a mountain and take it up so like that so this is our first mountain we want it really high like a little bit from there don't worry about shape later we can fix it so like this so if you want to create a lake so you can do that but I don't want a weight so just give them shape as you like like I want this kind of shape that's looking good for me and uh, not that big okay that's looking okay for me now we want to create a lake near our uh, mountain so what we gonna do here we just select one point and take it down like that so and nearby point we just take it up like this so that's really deep lake I think but we want a big leg so that's why we use this point as well and this one take it up so that's looking good for me now we just unable we can create one leg here that's looking okay now we enable our ocean for see where our lake is as you can see here there is a three legs but we only want one here and one here for this lake we just take it more down and that's looking great so now our editing is finished we just click on done editing shape and now we go to our filter so filter gives your trine really amazing and different looks so let me show you what I mean just click on filter tab and add a layer so in first layer we just add a filter so as you can see here when we just simply click on filter it's automatically give apply this filter on your trine but we don't want this filter because it's really look really clean so we don't want this kind of trine so first we go in general first let me show you which kind of filter you see inside the 
what we say world creator so first border blend so as you can see here with border blend it just blends your border uh, flat your blo uh, border with ocean so we don't want this and flatten flatten filter just flat your trine invert height what it's gonna do it just invert all your trine noise filter that's it's really bad filter i don't denoise smooth smooth ridges and that's looking good for creating a snowy effect snowy mountain but we don't after this right now so this is Ronoi, this is Ronoi border so that's really good for creating uh, some kind of rocky mountain so but we don't want this so zero edge zero edge is same work like a border blend so next tab is designs so with design you can add curve drift l3 path squeeze so you can play around with these all filter it's really awesome and fun to play so first uh, but we just need some kind of okay this is looking awesome but we are after rigid filter so as you can see here if we just click on small rigid rigid so that give really sharp look to your uh, uh, trying so that's what we want so just make it a little less sharper and after that just click on add here now we want to add one more filter so for that we add a basic erosion so as you can see here it's give you really really good look to your trying so you can change it to a soft erosion different guy for erosion wind so we go with the er erosion i don't know how to pronounce it erosion deep so that look great for me no that's not looking good so we add something else trace no minecraft okay we select something good looking so go in effect so let's see okay that's too sharp we don't want this we just go to platers rigid So as you can see here you give it uh we say snow effect so. so this is not what we want so we go to i think we go with not with crack that's looking rugged looking good for me so we go with that we just click on add and go back and that's our try now time to give it uh, what we say a texture so how we can do that we simply click on texture tab and add a layer so for giving that texture just click on add texture and uh, we want a grass texture on it so we choose a grass 5 i think add so as you can see here when we click on add so you can see grass texture if you go close to your trine so you can see it so as you can see you can move around and that's why it's looking great so first of all we need to turn off this fog because it's really so where is the fog 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 because it's really disturb me while doing stuff there is a fog i think environment thickness 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 what the heck where is fog 
What the heck is that? Here we go. So that's looking great. We don't want fog right now. So go back to our texture and click on our texture. Give them some kind of saturation for. Uh, okay, how we can do that? So add more green. That look good and make our texture a little bit visible because as you can see it's just look like a solid color so we just take down our tiles for so as you can see here if you go nearby this so you can see a proper texture so next texture we want we want a snow texture so go in our library and add a snow texture so if you don't find your library here just click on download assets so it's take some time and you can able to see that so go back and now we need to blend our uh, what we say our snow with our grass texture so what we can do here just go in cavity and you can use different kind of methods so as you can see here when we just change us some layer and its effect on your edges so concave you can use different kind of methods so here is also height selection so if you don't want to use a cavity so we just use a height selection here for that we just change it to a 250 and this to a 500 uh, maybe 2000 like that and just as you can see here it's just effect on the edges so that's like but it looked really harsh that's not what we want I think so okay that's also looking good as you can see here it's only apply on the edges of the ocean but we don't want this kind height noise so no we go with the cavity that's looking great now we add a roughness so for with roughness you can able to remove some kind of texture just increase as the trend and here we go concave no so that's looking great now we add a grass so just go in a uh, scene here click on object add layer and just add a add object first we add a detail for our plane so we can do that add layer and add detail so we can choose this grass add so you can't see anything because if we go really near to our trine so you can able to see that grass so you can change that by changing the view distance but it's gonna really slow your computer so as you can see here if you can as you can see it's gonna slow down my computer so that's why we don't do that so we are good with 100% so so as you can see here you go near the plane so you can see the grass so we add more density I think we can do that no we can't so as you can see here if we go to our snow area so you can also see grass on your snow so how we can uh, remove uh, grass from snow so just click on use texture and click on grass texture so you can't see any grass now on snow so here we go now we just simply little change our 
grass color grading I think so that's looking okay now we add a tree on our trine how we can do that so let's take a look now just go back to your object tab and add a object so click on wall creator so here we find some tree this one look okay and click on add so when you do that so as you can see here you find really really tiny trees on your trine but we want more trees so what we can do here just go back and click on your tree and here is the density so we just increase it to 86 percent and it's gonna slow your computer really really slow and we just go around 80 as you can see here so same method we can do we don't want to see any tree on our snow so just click on use texture and click on grass so so here we go align to trine so we want it aligned according to our trine so as you can see here that's how you can create a really awesome looking trine you can do a different kind of stuff with this you can play around you can create any kind of trines with world creator it's really powerful uh, tool for creating a trines so as you can if you click on follow okay you can do whatever you want here so i hope you like this video last step but not least let me show you how you can export your height map to another 3d software like i have sanma 4d so how we can do that so for that we just have here export option and change our surface from raw to png file and try and hide best to fit none okay export and we export anywhere we want we export here save and we also export our texture so it's a flat map roughness map color map you can export any maps you want so let's take little time So here we go so now we just add a plane for checking our uh, what we say for checking our map here we add a displacer okay open it and in export we have a height map and there we go so we just increase to 1000 displacer and change the height from 100 10 to as you can see here that's how we can do that so 100 is too much and we just change it to uh, 80 I think and uh, that's looking good we add a texture on it so that's look more awesome after applying a texture so we just add a smooth thing like that so here we go so that's how you export your trine so i hope you like this video you can also export the texture like that we let let me show you just click on export and export the texture it's a flat map color map okay 
first we uh, apply color map and after that we export our distribution map so let me show you how it look like color map okay it's not export yet Mm, now it's done reload so as you can see here it's re looking really great so if we just click on render that's like you that's how you export your trine to other software. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.